guys, so welcome back to episode 4 of the Marathon Prep and this week's been really, really busy so my apologies is that I haven't got enough content that's really worthwhile to post in a YouTube video so what I've decided to focus on this week is a little bit more about the plan and give people a little bit more insight into education around running, why I'm doing the runs the way that I am um, the plan moving forward towards the marathon. So as you've probably seen on other social medias, if you do follow me, that today was a 30k. Again, the longest run so far in this prep. And again, it was really, really comfortable. When you say comfortable, I mean, you know, it, it gives me more confidence going into the race and being able to maybe focus more from a 4.15 marathon, more towards breaking four, if I really keep pushing now towards um, you know the distances that I want, the pace that I want, the heart rate that I want, uh, and keeping up that, building that fitness over the next six or how many how many weeks it is. So really, really comfortable with that, and really, really happy with that as well. Um, this week's been really good week in terms of training as well. So again, every single week now, I think there is a ten k easy run, easy runs you don't need to see. What an easy run basically is, it does not you know it's not make the run easy. It's easy for every single person so how that dictates is obviously based on heart rate and that's obviously going to dictate your pace so what you want to aim for is around zone two and preferably towards the top of zone two so again it's different to every single person depending on age etc but roughly i always go for around sub 115 beats per minute on average is a good place to be for your easy runs so always base your pace off that. And what that does is it builds up the aerobic base, it builds up your fitness, your foundation, because you can't build a house without a solid foundation. You know, you can't build really, really good endurance without a solid foundation. And this is where the, the foundations are really, really built. So the majority of your runs, probably 80% of your runs, should be focused towards easy runs, run at that right uh, pace, run towards that right uh, heart rate, and then the 20% of your runs should be based on around interval sessions and then long runs as well. And that's literally how I've been structuring my weeks over the last prep. It's basically three runs per week. <laughs> uh, one of them being an easy run, one of them being a tempo interval run, and one of them being a long run. If I do want to add in a fourth run, it'll always be an easy run just to add up more mileage or if I fancy it. Um, but the interval runs, the tempo runs, they're the most structured. They're probably, you want them to be the hardest, not necessarily the long runs. You want the tempos, intervals to be the hardest because that's where you're going to be pushing your pacing, that's where you're going to be testing your, your fitness um, and that's going to obviously transfer into the longer runs as well. And then the likes of today are 30k, you know, 12k is more than that and we're out on marathon distance. That's about basically practicing in the in the prep for the race. So make sure that fueling is correctly, seeing how we feel, uh, pacing, seeing how that feels, obviously managing heart rate. Just basically doing everything pre-run nutrition, post-run recovery nutrition, uh, intra-nutrition, so gels and spacing them out and so on and so forth. So just really playing with that. And again, based on what we did over the last weekend, really, really happy. This weekend, really, really happy. And then obviously we've got another long run at 32K, which we'll practice a little bit more um, as well. So everything's going really good. As I said, I just want to give people a little bit of an overview into um, a little bit more about what I'm doing, the race, etc. The race on the 19th of March, so I think it's around six weeks away, something like that, seven weeks away. And basically we'll be pushing up towards that with more um, intensity, with our intervals, um, more mileage over time, and then pushing towards that 32k, which is the longest run that I will do on this prep. It's been an absolute game changer having Ben there as well, running alongside me. Um, it's so much easier when you're running with someone else. And again, them long runs become more more accountability in them you know you can push each other with the pacing you know you can you can inspire people and help each other um but it's also good just having someone to run and get alongside who's doing the same as you and that's massively important i think for morale um and then pushing towards them new goals so what's coming this week so this week we're going to be focused more on getting number one is getting more content in the bag i do have a camera that i should be carrying around running so i'll be using that a lot more this week sunday we have a our race so this is a half marathon that got pushed back from december till now we're just going to treat that as a a hard session or an interval session and, and push for that uh, and then we're just going to move the long run from them to in the week which is just another 10k we've already structured the long runs around so 
for example, 26k was meant to be this weekend, 30k was meant to be next weekend, but he brought them forward just because of this half marathon race with the rest of our teams. So there's about 10 of us running that, which I'm really excited for. Big issue that arose is today, the bubble on my alpha flies popped. So during today's race somewhere, don't remember where, because it was felt normal. I just felt a little squeak or heard a little squeak. One of the bubbles has popped. So that means that I have to replace them or speak to Nike about what they can do with them. So I'm going to get in contact with them tomorrow. But it's, it's, it's hurt me a little bit because they're my race shoe for Sunday as well. Not just for the marathon. I was probably going to buy a new pair before the marathon anyway. But for Sunday especially, like the difference I've noticed in them compared to me hockers in terms of heart rate, in terms of pace, in terms of me legs is day and night. So... I'm a little bit worried about the race on Sunday now that I haven't got them shoes at their hundred percent. I could probably still wear them, not gonna lie, but again, we'll see what what night does if they can replace them, if they can change them by Sunday. Only time will tell. Obviously, the next episode will tell that. But just want to give you a little bit of a roundup about what's going on at the minute. Again, sorry that it's not a full video. Again, been a really busy week business wise, which you can probably tell. And uh, I'm filming this after the 30k on a Sunday, so really, really tired. But again, want to get something out there to you. Next week, there's going to be even more content. And over the next few weeks, we're going to be getting Simon involved, who's a, a videographer to help out with more content as well. So be sure to drop this video a like. Um, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.